Monahan, just two names to start with. But we're getting ready to start with a race off turn number four. Mike Halbert flings the green flag, and it is Brody Wakefield staking the initial claim to the lead, but Aaliyah DeSoma on the outside going as hard as she can in turn number one, trying to hang with Brody. Oh, we got a spinner in turn number two, a little bit of contact between the 38. The Bandoleros get ready to rock and roll out of turn number four. They're going to get a green flag down the front stretch. And Brody Wakefield tries to make the break away at the front. Right behind him is Robidoux in the 38. And they are set up three deep as Bernier in the 30 tries to drop kick Aaliyah all the way back through the pack. Connor Doyon, who had to make repairs and get a hardship lap, he's dealing his way into the fifth spot. Brody getting it done so far. He's got Brian right behind him, and that is uh, Bryson, rather, Robodeau in the number 38 car. Then the 30 car right there as well. Great racing down the super stretch here at Waterford. Now, like we have said many times, these cars draft, just like if you were watching cup racing on a Sunday afternoon, and we're glad you're not, and you're here with us today, but uh, leading the pack is Wakefield. They're going to try to all try to team up. One will try to break out a line, break the draft, and try to get a run at our leader, who right now is Brody Wakefield. Yeah, all drivers are trying to size each other up as they get into turn number four. Brody's got him covered, but I'll tell you what, Bryson, he's got that 30 car running right his rear bumper. Well, they dance their way down into turn number one like a conga line, as one of my favorite announcers would say. And they go down the back stretch. That's Brody Wakefield leading the charge, and it is Bryson Robidoux in that 38. We're going to see who steps out of line as the top six nose to tail come off turn number four. Yeah, it's a six car party at the front right now, trying to break away from the rest of the field. Last time by that number 11 of Nicholas Uri. Rick Jr. got out of line. It did not work for him as he tried to get around the 19 car of Connor Doyon. So they continue to work single file, sizing each other up like John said. Perhaps a little out of shape off the corner was Wakefield. They're going to stay as tight as they can to the white line. They're going to make, if somebody's going to try to make a move, you're going to have to go to the outside and try to make that power move. As Aaliyah gets out of shape a little bit, that allows Dion to go by on the outside, and he'll pick up the fourth spot. Yeah, Aaliyah's uh, in the uh, possibility of losing this draft right here for that number 10 car. Those guys got to get right back in line to catch up the top three machines. Meanwhile, right in the middle is Connor Doyon in the 19. Well, we saw Yurik try to go to the outside, John, when he saw Aaliyah Perry flailing a little bit coming off the corner, and he has unable to make that pass, has had a drop back. He's about a car length back. The top three, you could probably separate one car between them, and then it is Doyon in fourth going as hard as he can. The leader of the pack from the drop of the green flag, and they're going to hit the halfway point. That has been the 0-4 of Brody Wakefield. So Doyon... Doyon in the 19 has caught the top three. Now going down low is the 38, and not getting the job done was Robido as they go into turn number one. Well, I think if he got, had gone any lower, that car would become a lawnmower. He would have had to go down on the grass as they go down the back stretch and into turn number three. So guarding his line is the 0-4 of Wakefield. As I said, he is going to force you. If you are going to get by me, you're going to do it on your own, breaking the draft on the outside as they go down into turn one and two. They continue to work single file on the back stretch the top five cars nose to tail the engine and I said it wrong here is the halfway point as we are at 10 down 10 to go and we have a yellow and it looks like the 91 of Ayla Martin is around and that uh, signed up good saw one young lady with her David gravel shirt on ah my hero here we go Green flags out, Wakefield takes off like a rocket ship into turn number one. And Bernier follows right behind him, leaving the outside open. Here comes Connor Dion. Earlier today, John saw it going up 395. We saw it covered in tape, and right now he's got third place covered at the halfway point. Robodeau got shuffled to the outside helplessly. He drops all the way back to position number five with a 38. And Bryson's got his work cut out for him to get back to the front. Trouble for the 15. And it looks like, John, that roof flap is having a problem for the 15 of Nolan Wright. He retires to the infield. So we said, if you get outside the draft like Robodeau did on, the top, on that restart, you can fall back very quickly. He did. He's in fifth. Aaliyah DeSoma may try the outside in her duel with Connor Dion. Yeah, I think Robido wants to uh, team up with uh, uh, DeSoma there in that number 10 car as they go down the backstretch. they got to start making their moves. We're going to have eight laps to go in this Bandolero main event. 
They stay single file, the top five. Urig has made his way into the top six by about three car lengths behind that lead pack as they go down the back stretch and into turn number three. Brody Wakefield from the drop of the green flag has answered every question. Does David Bernier have one more tough one to put in him to take the lead? Wakefield coming all the way down from Taunton, Massachusetts is leading this thing. But uh, I got to say, man, I don't know if I'd rather be in the lead running second or third in this one because it's going to get crazy before it's over. Well, John, I think you're going to want to be in the lead where you control the action behind you. As long as you stay on that white line and it looks like Brody has moved up, that is a, the one that Bernier has been looking for. They dive bomb their way down into turn number one. And finally, we have a new leader at the front. It's the 30 of David Bernier, but hanging on by a shoestring on the outside is Brody Wakefield. Trying to follow through is Connor Doyon, but Br uh, Brody on the outside doing a good job trying to get back down low. He knows he's got to get underneath that number 30 car once again to get back the lead. And Wakefield has gotten down low. He's all over the back bumper like the mustard on a speedball hot dog as they go down into turn number three. Your leader is David Bernier. Right behind him is Brody Wakefield in the 0-4 as they come across the line with four to go. The Bandos putting on a show here at Waterford into turn number one. Now it looks like Aaliyah goes to the outside with a number 10 car. She's got Bryson to the inside, side by side out of turn number two. Yeah, Aaliyah decided to test the waters to the outside, and that cost her a spot. Robidoux has now moved into fourth. We're getting down to three. Can Robidoux make his way back up to the top to make it a shootout for the checkered flag? Drifting into turn number two now. Your leader is the 30 of Bernier. He's got the 0-4 of Wakefield on the rear bumper. A little step out of the line for the 38 of Robodeau. Did not get the job done. Two to go. They come to the line. They see the popsicle sticks in the air. Bernier, who grabbed the lead late in this race when Wakefield drifted up the track. Can Wakefield make the same thing happen to Bernier as they dance their way underneath the scoreboard and into turn number three? Wakefield trying everything in the book to get around your leader, the number 30 of Bernier. Then you got the Conadoyon in the number 19 machine running third with Bryson right on his rear bumper as they go down into turn number one. Out of turn one and down the super stretch here at Waterford for the last time. These are your bandoleros. Is anybody going to get out of line to try to get around the number 30 as the twin checkered flags will wave this time by? And it looks like the 30 of Bernier will take the win. Wakefield in second and Doyon in third. Bryson Robodeau right there in fourth trying hard at the start finish line. Then Aaliyah De Soma. I thought I was going to... I thought I was going to get second this place, uh, this race, but I guess I got first. I'm so happy. I'm happy to get a first after a while. So a couple of tough drives for you in the number 30, and then finally when that car moved up, you were able to make the move to grab the win. Yeah, it was just a matter of time for me to get the other win. Um, I'm happy I'm here. Still, and well, winner gets to tell us all the sponsors that he has. Um, McDonald Industries, Greco 4, Nesk. I would like to thank Portside, Calm Tank, do Dog Training and Wheat. I would like to thank um, uh, I would like to thank Glenn Schwatzky, uh, uh, Phil Rondo, um, and my whole family to come and see me today and my grandfather.